In this video, we'll learn how to uh, use the step response functionality in MATLAB to plot the step response of a transfer function. We'll look at two particular examples. Here's the first one. You have g1 of s equal to s plus 1 divided by s cubed plus s squared plus 2 s plus 1. Now you need to uh, input this step function in a format uh, that MATLAB understands. And the way you do that is by writing down the vectors that represent the numerator and denominator. So do not, numerator here has a 1, 1. 1 corresponds to this 1 corresponds to the constant term. This 1 corresponds to the coefficient of s. Similarly, in the denominator, this 1 corresponds to the constant term. The 2 represents the coefficient of the s term. 1 corresponds to the coefficient s squared. And 1 corresponds to the coefficient of s cubed. And let's go to MATLAB and we'll define two variables just like I did here num1 equal to 1 1 10 1 equal to 1 1 2 1 and let's say sys1 equal to tf tf is a standard function transfer function generates the transfer function in the s domain the laplace domain given numerator and a denominator there you have it now you can use the step function to plot the step response of the system you might use grid to look at the grids Let's go back and look at this one here. Now in this uh, transfer function G2, in addition to the earlier transfer function, we have two terms in the denominator. How do you handle that? Because uh, the transfer function just handles one denominator. So you need to convert this to a single denominator, i.e. you need to multiply these two. And fortunately for us, there's a function called convolve, C-O-N-V, that multiplies two polynomials represented by a vector of their coefficients like so. So let's go ahead and uh, do that once, do this once again. Go to MATLAB. Num2 is same, same as before. Denominator 2 is convolve first denominator and what was that 1 2 now we can define the second system and now let me do this I want to see both plots one, one on top of the other on the single plot. So what I'll do is I'll hold this plot by right, typing in hold on and then I'll do plot do, do the step response of the second system and there you have it. I can put in legends that's end of this video